Luna was a newborn baby goat and she was found in a, a warehouse, a big car park. She was on her side lying down, covered in ants. She couldn't walk. She'd scream in pain if she tried to walk. She had no suckle reflex and we were having to force feed her initially. So I was up throughout the night just trying to keep her alive, feeding her. But then after the first few days, I could see that she actually had a little bit of fight in her. So she was trying, trying to live and for me, you know, that meant I was going to put everything that I had into keeping her alive. She'd start to try and totter about and, and try and do what a normal goat would do. Sometimes that resulted in her falling down again, so <laughs> Luna, but um, she'd always pop back up and have another go. She's really come a long way. I can start to see the sort of personality developing her. Don't eat me. Every time we come inside the house at the end of the day, Luna is desperate to come in. Because obviously the dogs come in and she's like, well, hang on a minute. They get to go in, I'm going in. So we do let her in occasionally. She can be a little bit cheeky in the house, so she will <laughs> grab things, pull them off and add them all in the house, <laughs> as they all do. <laughs> so much life and she's so full of energy. When I first started fostering her, I did try and buddy her up with some other younger goats and knock her down. I, I think she became scared of them. Looney Luna isn't a regular goat at all. She's always, I guess, singing to her own tune. <laughs> she's got a mind of her own. What are you doing? Every day when I pull in home from work, straight away the dogs bark and I get Paris the Chihuahua, Ava the Golden Retriever, and they're trotting behind Luna. She'll try and jump up on the gate to greet me. And I think anyone that comes over and visits just always gets such a laugh seeing these two dogs followed by this big woolly goat running up behind them. <laughs> she comes when she's called, she walks on a lead, she sits in the back seat of the car with my dog, so she's happy to go for road trips and she's at the pool. She sleeps on the dog beds with my dogs as well, so if they're not out in the yard playing and eating and whatever else, she's curled up asleep on the dog beds. So I actually had to go buy extra because she just kept stealing the dog beds. <laughs> I pretty much foster every lamb and baby goat that comes into my shelter. I've lots and lots of baby goats and lambs and, you know, I love them all and I'd love to keep them all, but Luna, I just knew that she was going to be this special goat. She almost didn't make it and now she's this really, you know, strong, happy, healthy goat. I feel so lucky to have met Luna, to have fostered her and, and now to call her my own. She's just such a joy and every day she does something that makes me smile.